Welcome to List It Live, where we give you a guided tour of San Diego's hottest homes for sale. I'm here with David Jefferson. How you doing? Good. Thanks so much for coming in the studio today. Thanks for having me. Yes, we are very excited to show off one of your newest listings. So this one is over on Park Boulevard. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2300 yeah. square foot condo, which is unheard of. And it looks like such a gorgeous building in the heart of Hillcrest. So tell us about this property and why a buyer should go out and see it. Well, first thing I think about this property is for everyone out there, you really have to see it in person to appreciate it. The pictures do justice, but they don't do it enough justice. Um, the key that I really want to focus on about explaining uh, this unit mm -hmm. is the size of it. So it's four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. It's perfect for a multi-generational family, perfect for maybe uh, a couple that's looking to start a family or to grow a family because it's not that often that you get this much space uh, in this area in mm -hmm. a condo in all on one level. Um, currently, there is just one couple that lives there, um, but just from being there, it has uh, the space for, again, someone someone in their family to really be able to grow into it. Um, it's in the heart of San Diego. Um, in my opinion, one of the most diverse areas in San Diego is mm -hmm. in Hillcrest. Um, it's just a stone's throw away from, we have literally, I mean, you can see uh, uh, the, the zoo from, from the balcony. Um, you can see the skyline of downtown San Diego. It has a couple amenities like this picture right here. Uh, the building does have a on-site gym. It does also have a really nice lobby area. And as you can see featured here in this picture, which is not common for the building, is that this unit actually does have two designated storage units that are pretty good size as well. Um, and again, that just adds on to the more of the factor about, hey, being that multi-generational type of home because you have extra storage as well. Um, it's a penthouse. Uh, what I really do love about it is that it's on the sixth floor. In this building, there are only six levels. Mm. Um, and this unit actually takes up one whole half of the sixth floor. There's only a total of three units on the sixth floor. And again, this unit is going to take up half of that. Um, so just in, 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 in being able to picture how big it is. <clears throat> Here we have a picture of the kitchen. Uh, my favorite feature of the unit of the DECA building itself is going to be the floor to ceiling windows. As you can see, gets you some of the best views in San Diego. <clears throat> we have the living room here. Another thing that I, I would really like to touch bases on is you actually have three private balconies. You can kind of see one in that last picture right there. Uh, you have that one off the living room. Then you're also going to have one private balcony off the master bedroom. And then you'll have another private balcony off of the second biggest bedroom in the unit. Um, it is uh, vacant. We do have it staged, um, but it's ready to show. Um, here is the actual master bedroom. And again, just as you can see, some great views from the actual unit with those uh, windows. Um, this is also going to be that uh, a balcony that's off of the master uh, with a storage unit right there as well. Uh, it really doesn't get any better, you know, any better than this in my opinion. Um, you have more than enough space here in the master bathroom with the his and her sinks. You have a huge walk-in closet as well in the master bedroom, which is this uh, photo right here. And then also what's kind of hard to find, especially as we're starting to see more and more nowadays, is that this unit actually does have in-unit washer and dryer mm. as well. Um, the owner is a architect. She's a designer and a decorator. This was kind of her space that she was, um, she used to just get creative. Um, and as you can kind of see here, I really love about this unit. It has a lot of exposed concrete. Um, so if you're talking about someone who has more of a uh, uh, artsy or a architectural mm -hmm. style as well, I think this, this unit is just going to be perfect for them. Yeah, well it's an incredible unit and it's so spacious and I love that it has the three balconies so someone yeah. who's looking to move a little bit more into like central San Diego and have those views um, with that exposed concrete and just the gorgeous lobby like there's just so much to offer yeah. with this building um, yeah. and it seems like for the price as well as space um, and it's in the penthouse too it's such a yep. great deal as well. Yep. So if someone's watching this they want to take a look are you doing any open houses or is it by an appointment only? So no, yes, I am actually doing an open house tomorrow, Friday from 12 to 4, and Saturday, this coming Saturday as well from 12 to 4 also. 
Um, again, like I was saying, it is vacant, so mm -hmm. it's easy for me to get the door open. Um, I'm not far from there. I just need about a four hour notice. And okay. if anyone watching this did have interest and couldn't make it to those open houses, it'd be very easy for me to get the door open. Okay. One thing I would like to add is what well, I didn't touch bases on, I forgot. Mm -hmm. It does have an HOA on it. Okay. So the HOA is at $924. The HOA will also cover the exterior building maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, and the unit comes with two underground assigned parking spots with a gate that oh, the HOA great. maintains. Great. As and well. you have those two storage units. As and well. on top so of the two storage units. A great units. benefit as well. Yeah. So, seems like a good deal to me. Um, and if someone's watching this, be sure to check out the open houses this Friday and Saturday from 12 to 4. And like David said, if you can't make the open houses, uh, be sure to give him a call and give him that four hour notice. He'd be more than happy to show it to you. Or if you're looking for something else like it in the area. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me.